All right, good afternoon. I'm Dave Ehlers, Superintendent of Coloma Community Schools. Before I get started my message today, I'm proud to announce that we will continue our meal program throughout the entire summer. That means we'll continue to deliver and pick up and provide pickup spots twice a week all the way through the end of August, which will take us through the start of the next school year. Just to date, if you haven't been paying attention, we've distributed over 125,000 meals since March 13th to Columbus Community Schools kids, uh, and we look forward to providing many more meals this summer. Now, with all the uncertainty surrounding what the next school year might look like in the fall, if you've been reading the papers, if you catch the news, uh, a lot of schools talking about what their plans are, I thought it was important to let you know what we're talking about here in Coloma for our kids and our community for the 2020-21 school year. So if you remember a few weeks ago, the governor released her six-part Michigan Safe Start plan. And as a part of that plan, schools could return to face-to-face -face instruction with strict mitigation, such as social distancing in stage five. Now currently we're in stage four or the early parts of stage four. And hopefully as the summer progresses, we can move all the way through stage four and five and into stage six by the end of August. But we don't know and we may not know for several weeks. So with that being said, our entire Coloma Community School staff is working on four different options for education our students in the 2020-21 school year. Now we know that ultimately we'll receive guidance from the state that will allow us to narrow our focus, but until then we want to consider explore all our options thoroughly as we do not know when we will get that much needed guidance or how much time we'll have to react accordingly. So we're developing plans unsure of what we will see in the fall. So our first option is a return to in-person learning with little or no restrictions. So in this model of educating our kids, we'll work to fill the gaps in learning and summer drain created by the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent shift to remote learning. This involves a thorough and quick review of, our, of the important skills and information our kids need to review in order to be successful before engaging in new material in the fall. The second option is to begin the 2020-21 school year via remote learning. Now this is more challenging obviously, but we feel we've learned a lot from our experience this year and believe we can do this much better than we've done this year under emergency conditions. At some point in this model, there would be a return to face-to-face -face learning and school resume as normal, or at least as normal as it could. Another contingency we're planning for is that we start the school year with face-to-face -face instruction and at some point have to shut down for a period of time, likely two to four weeks, due to a spike in COVID-19 cases or some other condition or affliction affecting the area uh, that would force schools to close. In this model, we have a remote learning plan on hand that can be implemented on a moment's notice and sustained with a little more rigor than what we've used this year over a short period of time to bridge us back to that face-to-face -face instruction when it's safe again. And lastly, we're working on a hybrid model that has some face-to-face -face learning coupled with some remote learning. Now this would be done to adhere to social distancing guidelines which require a little over 27 square foot per person and thusly restricts the number of students and, and teachers that we could have at school uh, at any one given time based on the square foot limitations. While this is difficult logistically, this model would make sure that our students receive some face-to-face -face contact with our staff and direct instruction, uh, as well as getting some instruction, supplemental instruction online. We feel it's a, it's a better option than fully remote, but obviously less desirable than being face-to-face. -face. So in addition to all that, we're also developing protocols to ensure our buildings remain safe, clean, and healthy for our students and our staff. So when we do return, because there is nothing greater than priority to us than making sure that our staff and students are uh, safe and healthy when they are on our, our site. And finally, no matter what parameters and guidance we get from the state for the 2020-21 school year, I want you to know that Coloma Community Schools will be prepared and will continue to provide an education based on our mission and beliefs. We will ensure everyone is safe and has what he or she needs to be a successful learner, whether that is via face-to-face -face instruction or common, combined with some online options. On behalf of the staff and the Board of Education, I would like to thank you for your continued support over these last few challenging months. I will keep you posted over the summer as I get more information and more specifics from the state as to what school looks like in the fall. But until then, stay safe, healthy, and positive, and have a great summer. Go Comets!